I kind of want to hit people with it. I have a 3D printer now. It's a Creality K1C. Here's my Benchy. It's pretty standard. I took an engineering class this year and gained the skills to design models of Fusion. Kind of. But for someone who's just started this year, I'm a bit of a genius. I kind of want to hit people I took an engineering gained the skills to design models of Fusion. Wait. Wait, hold on. Before I model anything, I need a basic idea of what I'll be making. Obviously, I'm not skilled enough to model Hatsune Miku into a knife. Plus, imagine trying to hold that. You'd have, like, Miku-shaped grip marks on your hands, which sounds pretty unpleasant. Plastering a decal of Miku onto a knife, I mean, it is a Hatsune Miku knife, but that's boring, and I probably wouldn't like you if you made me do that. Instead, I opted for a Miku hanger, which held the knife via her pigtails. Sure, it's not actually a Miku knife, but it's still Miku, and it's a knife, and that's all that matters, right? But what would a Miku hanger look like? If I tried modeling an accurate Hatsune Miku in Fusion 360, I think I'd pass out and go into a coma for the next two weeks, and I also don't know how to use Blender. So I'm basing the hanger off Danny Vell's box Miku design. And also this model I found on the universe. I just love how simple they look, and they make for a good base. So I got to work. I am so sorry to any modelers out there watching this. I think my modeling skills would kill a man. That's why I'm scared to admit I'm good. And here's everything assembled. There are these long hexagons sticking out from her hair, and these are to hold the knives. I'll probably put a hole in the handle somewhere, and it'll hang from there. My only concern is that it wouldn't be able to stand up on its own. It's very unbalanced, and it would probably fall if you blew into her face a little, but I'll fix that problem later. No big deal for now. All right, it's time to 3D print while I play Stardew Valley. <laughs> The Miku stand is now fully assembled and I've done it pretty flawlessly. I got that. Oh, oh god, no, I gotta have a hand. I don't know how to get super glue up. She looks stable. There's a small smudge. Oh, oh gosh, no, oh my god. I avoided hot glue for this because I thought it would melt the material, but honestly, I feel like I should have used it because I just realized you can never trust me with super glue. It's very unbalanced. I'll fix that problem later. No big deal for now. Yeah, yeah, that didn't go so well. I thought about turning her shoes into a base, so I tried to remove her legs from her skirt, but the super glue was way too strong and I ended up damaging my entire print. I had to reprint her bottom half. After that, yeah. I modeled and printed a new base, and now she stands up perfectly fine. Look at her, she's beautiful. We can finally make the knives now. Before we get into knives, first of all, sorry. Second of all, I just want to print something that I know would work. A spoon. I'll only print one for now because I don't want to waste any precious blue filament. I've already blown enough on the hair, and I'm not sure how much I'll need to print everything else I want to use. Anyway, here's a spoon. The tip is actually a lot smaller than... I no, I'm not calling it that. The scoop is actually a lot smaller than I'd want it to be. Moving on, there's only one way to see if this works. Oh yeah. You know, this kind of reminds me of that one guy who used Miku's hair as a spoon. I really like that video. There's just something about it that resonates with me. Like, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, enough beating around the bush. It's time to actually try it. I'm kidding. You really thought I was gonna eat with a 3D print. No. PLA is usually not seen as food safe, but the real kicker is that the plastic is extruded out of a nozzle, which isn't exactly the cleanest. You can get away eating using your prints if the nozzle is made out of stainless steel, and the actual material is food safe. But my 3D printer uses a hardened steel unicorn nozzle, which isn't stainless steel, so that just invalidates everything. You can't make me eat using a 3D printed spoon. I'm not risking getting bacteria and chemicals in my body just for one video. Yeah, uh, I I'm dead at 30. Now that we- ho hold on. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now that we have a Hatsune Miku spoon holder, we can finally move on to making the knives. How long did it take us? Uh oh. Uh, okay. I'll just use PLA for the entire knife. I don't have any blades in my house, so I can't make an actual knife. It's not gonna be practical, but I just hope it can still cut things. My bamboo X1 carbon also arrived, so I'll be printing a knife using that. Not sponsored, by the way. Look at that. Two 3D printers. I hope I can use them for more than one video. Okay, here's our knife. It looks pretty- I don't have any hope for it. It's not sharp at all. That's literally the main point of a knife. To be sharp, so it could cut things like boxes and stuff. My knife isn't even pointy at all. So I went back in the fusion to redesign the entire thing, and boom. We have a- uh, 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 We have a much better knife than before. But what am I gonna use this knife on? 
oh, oh, right. And I just go over the amount of hoops I had to jump through in order to make this segment. Before my mom and sister came back from vacation, me and my dad went to Walmart to buy a pack of green onions so I could make this video. But I got so caught up in editing this video that my mom and sister came back before I could actually film the entire thing. So when I finally had the time to record this segment, I checked the fridge and the green onions, they, they weren't there. Turns out mom had actually chopped the green onions before I could even film anything. So now I have no nothing to cut. G great. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, we actually had a couple green onions growing in our backyard, so I could actually make this segment, but really enough beating around the bush. I've said that already, haven't I? Can I cut green onions using a Hatsune Miku knife? Yeah, I can. You know, I'd never actually tried eating a green onion before, so I guess today that changes. Oh god, oh god. That... <laughs> Oh my god, Miku, how the f do you like that? Okay, so far we've created a close range combat item and a tool for eating. Do you see where I'm going with it? I don't know how a 3D printed gun would work, but I thought about it pretty hard and realized that Miku tomahawks would be awesome. So I'm going with tomahawks. If you don't know what a tomahawk is, n neither do I. Apparently they're just axes and you can throw them and I think that's all I need to know. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna get this out of the way now. Most of what I'm making in this video is a glorified art piece. No, I'm not gonna be eating with a Miku spoon for the next three years. And no, I'm not gonna be cooking with a Miku knife for the next three years. Although that kind of sounds sick. Okay, we have a tomahawk. Now what? Well, obviously I can't just throw plastic axes at people. I'd go to juvenile. So instead, we're gonna use a very special test subject. Ready? <laughs> Oh god, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't know. You mean you didn't know? Okay, okay, uh, let me, let me finish. You're the one throwing axes, like, does your not have any self awareness? Is it, look, look, I, I. Go I'm gonna 3D print something to make, like, one joke and then move on. I'm sorry. Whoa, Miku, you're starting to get into some <clears throat> pedo territory. Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Cool fact. The original idea for this video is that I'd 3D print Miku nunchucks, but I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to do it. Sure, I can model and print stuff, but I felt like this was way out of my reach. So I settled with knives because they were simpler and I could easily do those. But as I continued making this video, the idea just kept on bugging me. And I started to feel bad because Miku nunchucks is honestly such a cool idea and scrapping it just felt wrong. So you know what? I'll make it happen. You might ask, how are we gonna print this? The whole assembly is way too big to fit on the bill plate. Well, I got just the idea. I'm a genius. Pick up that pair of nunchucks, perform a spin, and then a controlled throw. Oh, and, then and there we have it. Hatsune Miku nunchucks. Are they good? Well, there's only one way to find out. 